Welcome to True Potential TV. I'm Andrea Corella, your relationship consultant and licensed professional counselor. And if you'd like to stay connected, be sure to sign up for my email newsletter at truepotentialcounseling.com so you can create a relationship and life you love and get free access to VIP tips that I only give to my members. Well, Mauro and I have been really busy. We've been planning our wedding and it is a whirlwind. Oftentimes people say that weddings are so stressful and initially when we first got started on this whole wedding planning affair, we, we really thought, why are people stressing out so much? It's really just a big party to celebrate your love and your relationship with one another. What's the big deal? As we've gotten closer, we realized that every task has five subtasks att attached to it. And so we consider ourselves very organized people and planners, but it really takes a lot of time. And if you don't have that sort of time, it can really stress you out. And we've been realizing that with me working a full-time job, him going to do a PhD program full-time, plus running our businesses on the side, plus wanting to spend time together, we have no extra bandwidth to work with. So what do you do when you're really stressed out and all that tension um, builds up to the surface? How do you address issues and communicate with your partner without them becoming defensive? Well, I'm gonna share with you today the tips and tricks that we've used and the things that didn't work for us and the things that did so that you can learn from our experience and apply some of them into your own life and your own relationship. So we realized that quality time was most important to us. So we mapped out a strategy session to identify those areas in our life that we were individually out of balance or in our routine as a couple, what things could be fine tuned and tweaked so that we could maximize our time. So just like any kid needs a lot of rest, being able to eat a healthy meal and to have playtime, we realized that some of those areas were off balance individually and in our relationship. And so we realized that we needed to incorporate more of that in our life and figured out how to make that possible. We also started to divide and conquer. We started seeing what areas um, Mauro could do, what things I could do, so we could maximize our time. We also identified times that we could work together on a project um, that could be fun for us um, so that we weren't just all working separately, that we could have some activities that we were working on a project together. And that really worked. So we also noticed that um, at the beginning of the week, it was pretty chaotic and we needed kind of to streamline the process of preparing our food. So what I decided to do was on Sunday, prepare our meals for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday uh, for the lunch week. And since Mauro got home early on Monday and Wednesday, he prepares the dinner. So voila, dinner is served. So another thing I noticed is that nagging and complaining, although it feels like you're being productive, really isn't and it can backfire and lead to more tension and defensiveness and then lead to more exhaustion and less productivity in accomplishing what you really want, which is being close and having time together. So what we started doing was being uh, focused on acknowledging and highlighting the things that we each were doing, being grateful for one another, for all those things that were happening that each of us were doing to contribute to the relationship. Another thing is really asking for what you need. Stuffing your feelings and putting them inside really doesn't work. So being able to uh, ask for what you need and really knowing how to do that in an effective way is, is really key. We also decided to start delegating those tasks that we really didn't care for that much, like cleaning the house. So we decided to hire a cleaner, figured out financially where we could you know, get an extra $20, $30 a week to be able to hire a house cleaner. And that freed up two extra hours for us to spend quality time together. And it really worked. And the other thing is being able to tweak along the way. Don't get stuck in this is the way it is and this is the way it always will be because you need to adapt and modify as your schedule and lifestyle changes to be able to constantly create a new routine that works for you. 
So that's it for this week. I hope you found it very helpful and useful. And as always, please share your comments in the comment section below. I'd love to see the beautiful things that you're creating in your relationship. Bring it back and share it with the community. We'd all love to celebrate it for you. And also share some of those challenges that you experience that probably you're not alone. All of us face and all of us experience. So share those challenges and also what sort of videos you'd like to see in the future. I'd love to be able to uh, brainstorm and share those uh, resources and tips with you as well. So as always, uh, create a relationship and life you love and we'll catch you next week. Stay tuned. Create a relationship you love is coming up. Want to join hundreds of couples who are creating a happy, hot, healthy, and harmonious relationship? Sign up now for my free three-part video series at www.createarelationshipyoulove.com. That's a good one, I think. And then that would be one. Okay. And then this is C1 continued in some way. You may have to kind of finagle some editing here. Okay. So um, let's scratch that. Let's do it. Do it over. Oh, I gotta go. And so we had a strategy session to map up our, our blah, 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 blah.